IMO problem, we have two IMO problems and one AMO problems. Want to try which one first? Uh, AMO. Okay, AMO. This one. Algebra has three topics. Inequality, functions, and polynomials. After these parts, you know how to solve function problems. And then we'll work on polynomials and then inequalities. Okay, for this one, again, we want to do the same thing. But here we have one problem. Can you tell me our problem is what with respect to previous problem? Um, the problem is there's a complicated term. Mm, yes, and oh. also here it says r plus r plus positive real numbers to positive real numbers, right? Yeah. So we cannot check zero, right? In the problems that yeah. it says r plus something like that, and the main problem is that we cannot check, for example, f of zero and something like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can check, for example, one, something like this. We can consider special cases. X equals Y, X equals negative Y, something like this at previous session I told you. So here, for example, we can consider X is equal to Y, right? Then we can conclude what? Then F of X squared plus F of X equals X F of X plus 2. Exactly. What else can we write? Can we, for example, cancel something? Can we? This term is complicated term, right? Mm -hmm. But again, our problem is that here, um, it is related to both x and y, right? In previous cases, it was, for example, related to only like this, only x, then we change, for example, y to z, and we could cancel this. But here, it is related to both x and y. So that's where the, here we don't have 0, but we have instead of 0, after 0, what a small value is good to check? 1. Yes, so, for example, if both of them equal to 1, then f of what? One plus one, I, one plus f of one equals f of one plus two. Yes. Now, like previous one, previous problem, we consider both of them one, one of them one. So let's take x one, y one. For x one, we have what? For x is equal to only x equal to one. Then we have f of y plus f of a one equals yes. one f, equals f of y plus two yes and if we replace y with one it would be what f of x plus f sorry f of x plus f x equals x of f one plus two yes so here, because we have f of 1, let's replace f of 1 with c, a constant variable, okay? So then we can say f of here, if we write in terms of c, then it would be what? f of 1 equals c, then it's c plus 2. f of c plus 1 is equal to c plus 2, right? So let's call yeah. this first. What about this one? f of y plus c equals f of y plus yes we can c. write also in terms of x right instead of y x right yeah what about third one uh, then we get f of x plus fx equals xc plus 2 Yes, third result. Now, in JMO problem, we calculated in the function problem, we use double counting. 
Double counting is usually for combinator X, but from this approach that becomes a problem from two different aspects. This one. Do you remember we calculated something in two different ways? F of F of F of X. We calculate like this and this, and then we reach a good result, right? Yeah. But here it was F of F of something. Now, if you combine these things, you can calculate F of something in two different ways. Look, it is X, X plus F, you know X plus F of X is what, right? Yeah. And also, you know X plus C, right? Yes. So if you combine all these things, suppose that we have F of X plus F of X plus C. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how can we calculate it in two different ways? Is it possible? So let's first try using one of them. Okay. Or also in one way, if you combine these things. We can say it is what? Equals f of x plus fx plus 2. You can say x here is x plus f of x, right? f of x yeah. plus f of x plus 2, right? Yeah. And you know f of x plus f of x, right? It is combination of these yeah. things. So f of x plus x f of x, x is what? xc plus 4. Exactly, xc plus 4. Okay, now pay attention. Let's call this one fourth result. See how can we combine these things to reach a good result. Also pay attention to this one, okay, to main equation. And see, for example, if you want to calculate like this, you should do what? Uh, I don't know what else to do. Okay, look here when I said use this one for this one, it is exactly like previous one. Here, when I told you try to use 1 to 1, you said y is equal to negative f of x to cancel this, to be able to use 1 to 1, right? Yeah. Here, if you want yeah. to use, to calculate this one by using this formula, y should be what? Uh, 1, uh... If y is 1, then it is x plus f of x. It is not x plus c plus f of x, right? Yeah, so how do I... Uh... So try to calculate y should be what? Okay. Y equals 1 plus c over x. Yes, because x, y should be equal to x plus c, right? So y is equal to 1 plus c over x. So, if you use this, then you can say it is equal to what? Let's uh, consider this one, good. label this one as 5. So, if you use 5 and these values, then you can say what? Uh, equals x times f of 1 plus c over x plus 2. Yes. So, now it is so much good because, you know, it is equal to this, right? Yeah. So if you simplify x times f of 1 plus c over x is equal to what? Uh, how do you simplify this? Plus c over x. Oh, I guess x c plus 2, first of all. Yes, then we can conclude f of 1 plus c over x would be what? f of 1 plus c over x equals 1 plus 2 over x. 1 plus 2 over x, you said? Oh, not 1. Um, this is c, x plus, so c plus 2 over x. Yes. Now, from this one, f of x would be what then? This f of x one plus c over x equals x. 
square minus x of x equals x squared minus x plus 2 over x. And can you explain your solution? Uh, I set c to x squared minus x. x squared minus x, so x minus, uh -huh, yes. Or you can say, or you can say it is w in general, because sometimes it is a bit complicated. It's not easy to guess. This one, then it you can good. say, okay, x w is equal to x plus c, right? Yeah. Then you can say, okay, x is equal to c over w minus 1, right? Okay, yeah. so then f of w is equal to c plus 2 over x, which is 2 times w minus 1 over c, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we simplify, so f of x is this, right? Yeah. Okay, so... is equal to c plus 2 times x minus 1 over c. Let's make, check it to make sure. w1 plus c over x, xw is equal to x plus c. So x, w minus 1, c over w minus 1. f of w is equal to c plus 2 over w, 2 over w, 2 over x. 2 times w minus 1 over c. So f of x is this. Now we should do what? Again, it is like all problems that we solve today. Uh, then we reach something like this. f of x, for example, c plus 2x over c minus 2 over c, or like this form. In the next step, we should do what? X equals c. No, no, you shouldn't do anything. When you reach something like this, only replace in the main equation. Okay. Okay? Because when you reach this, it, somehow you can say you solved the problem. You found f of x is what? With only one constant. So you should replace it here to find the constant, okay? okay. So, c for which, uh, try to figure out for which c it satisfies the condition. Uh, I kind of, I'm stuck when I plug it okay. into the original equation. Okay, so let's replace. It is uh, c minus 2 over c. Mm, let's do something. Mm, uh -huh, because we have also c a bit hard, but if you didn't have c, we can set c minus 2c as k, right? So, yeah. let's okay. consider something first. f of x, y, here we have f of x, so we can say what? 2x over c plus c minus 2 over c, right? Yeah. Is equal to x, 2y over c plus c minus 2 over c, right? Mm -hmm. Plus 2, agreed? Yeah. So, f of this one is what, again, is... 2 times this over c, right? Mm -hmm. Did you do all these things? Yeah, I plugged it. I, I was replacing all f all f functions with c plus 2x over c. Okay, minus so we read something like this, right? Yeah. Agreed. Then we can do what? Uh, I'm first multiplied by C on both sides. Mm, if we want to... Okay, so if we multiply by C, it would be 2x. Y plus 2x over C plus C minus 2 over C plus C squared minus 2 is equal to x times 2y plus C squared minus 2 plus 2C, right? Yeah. Then we should do what... Uh, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, eliminate 2xy. Okay, then what? Uh, I'm gonna expand real quick. Again, we don't mm -hmm. like denominators, so we should multiply by another c, right? Yeah. 
so then we have what 4x plus what 4x plus 2c squared minus 4 uh, plus oh, plus c cubed yes minus 2c equals xc cubed minus 2xc plus 2c squared exactly yeah we can cancel these two c squared yeah now let's take all things to one side xc cubed minus c cubed then negative 2xc plus 2c right minus 4x yep. plus 4 you can factor from yep. one term it's obvious it's you can factor from what sorry what here we can factorize and one yeah. is not part. We can factor one factor we is what? X minus one. Exactly, X minus one. And it would be X minus one times what? Um trying two. Four, this is one. This is also X. One. Uh so it becomes X minus one. Times c cubed plus 2c minus, minus 4. Minus 2c, because we have minus 2xc. Oh, right, yeah, right, okay. Minus 2c, then what? So minus 4. Minus 4. Then we can conclude what? Either x equals 1 or no, c no, minus Yes, but do you agree it is correct for infinitely many x, right? For all x's, we have this, right? Yeah. So you can consider x is not 1 and this one has to be 0 because c is a constant. If only for one value it is not 0, then this one we know always should be 0, right? Yeah. Okay, then we should do what? Uh, find values of c. Yes. How we can find c? In 90% of the problems that we reach something like this, we have same approach. Do you know when we have degree 3, what's the most useful way to solve? No, I mean C equals 2. Right? You, should, you should replace C plus minus 1, 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 3, and so on, something like this. Try to find at least one root, then we can factorize and we can apply well, quadratic two. form. Yes, 8 minus 4. So, one factor is what? Uh, C minus 2. Yes, yeah, C minus 2 times what? Oh, uh, times C squared. Uh, minus 2 C squared. So, plus 2 C, I think. Yes. And then you need minus 2 C. So you need plus two. Okay. It's equal to zero. Then what? Uh now you gotta Well the last one doesn't have any real roots, right? Yes, because it's C plus one squared plus one. It is always positive. So we conclude C is what? C is two. Yes. Now we can replace C with 2, okay? So if you replace yep. C with 2, C was what? Remember C was what? F, oh, F of 1. Exactly. So you can say 2 plus 2x over 2 minus 2 over 2, which is 2 plus x minus 1, which is x plus 1, right? Yeah. And F of 1 is 2. It satisfies also that one. But at the end, again, we should check this one. Okay, yeah. you should replace and check. Want to check it now or want to do it as homework? I'll just check it now. Okay, sure. If we check, let's check together. F of x is okay. what? Uh, x plus 1. Yeah, so f of this one is what? Uh, x plus, x, y plus x plus 2. Right hand side is what? x times what? x times x times y plus 1 plus, plus two. 2. And they are equal, right? Because yeah. it is xy plus x plus 2. 
Okay, so we've checked this. Always write this in the answer sheet. Check. And okay, it says so f of x is x plus 1 for all values in positive real numbers, right? Yeah. Okay, try these because we've worked on some problems. Now you can, you have some ideas for solving these two problems, right? Yeah. I don't tell you more homeworks because next session I want to have time to work on some topics, okay? okay. In polynomials and something like that. So try to do this one as homework one. Want me to tell you more homeworks or these two homeworks are enough to have more time? Okay.